and let me know what are the national okay. historic sites. Yes, so um, here in Providentialese, we have Cheshire Hall Plantation. Uh, we have our Bird Rock Point, and Cheshire Hall Plantation is one of our historical cultural sites. Um, there are natural heritage components at Cheshire Hall Plantation as well. Uh, we also have uh, Bird Rock Point, which is an amazing trail um, in the Long Bay area. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely encourage persons to go and, you know, walk the trail. It's quite lovely in the early morning or right before dusk. You know, you'll see lovely wildlife, various reptiles and birds, um, insects. So it's a great opportunity, you know, just to reconnect with nature. And it's always um, great because it definitely helps to promote health and wellness, you know, going out doing your hike and, you know, just taking care of your mind, body and soul. So Bird Rock Point is a lovely area. Um, also, we have Little Water Key, also known as Iguana Island. Mm -hmm. Really amazing, that's where our endemic um, rock iguanas are located. We have amazing projects over there going on that will help with the sustainability and the lifespan of our uh, endemic rock iguanas here in the TCI. So, um, and then moving over to North Caicos, we have Wade's Green Plantation, another mm -hmm. historical and cultural site. Beautiful, beautiful uh, heritage site um, in North Caicos um, for those to visit, whether you are a resident or a visitor. Um, it's just an amazing place to, you know, connect with your history and your culture. Uh, in addition to that, we have Flamingo Pond, a flamingo uh, pond facility basically overlooks the pond. You can see amazing flamingos during certain times of the year, uh, October, November. So those are times you'll see a lot of the birds uh, migrating in and out. Uh, so you'll see like thousands of flamingos, which is a really lovely sight. Um, for, especially for bird enthusiasts. There's a lot of bird enthusiasts throughout the world and even here in Turks and Caicos. Um, so again, it's an opportunity, you know, just to go visit the side and just enjoy being a part of nature. Um, in Middle Caicos, we have our Kunk Bar Caves. Mm -hmm. Our cave system is beautiful. Um, we have a variety of bats <laughs> that are there, our, our, our wildlife. Um, we also have uh, crustaceans and isopods, uh, little um, marine organisms, because some parts of the cave are dry areas, other parts of the cave um, are wet areas. Um, and then there's also, you know, a great uh, pre-Columbian uh, component in regards to history there with the Lucayan natives um, that would utilize the caves as protection, as mm -hmm. shelter as well. Um, we also have our boiling hole area um, in South Caicos. Uh, the boiling hole, again, is a natural occurrence. Um, it's really beautiful. It's kind of small. I think persons think of something quite grand, like the big um, uh, glaciers and things that uh, Yellowstone or the Grand Canyon, but it's like our little you know, boiling hole, which is special to us. Um, mm -hmm. But still, it's a great place to go visit and relax. You know, there's a lovely gazebo there, and you can also do some bird watching because it oversees the the pond area, the salt pond. So you can see a lot of uh, various species of birds there. Um, and we also have the government house, the government house in Salt Key. The government house in Salt Key, again, is really lovely. It's quite, you can um, take some pictures beside it. Um, we're looking forward to a lovely uh, uh, in, uh, heritage enhancement project that will happen at the government house um, as well with some local partners and our supporters. So those are our heritage sites um, that we have available to the public to visit at this time. Okay. Um, I've been to a number of those sites. I actually was in South Caicos just about two weeks, two, three weeks ago, and I did visit the boiling hole. Um, so it was a really good experience. And yes, there is a number of wildlife. I saw pink flamingos and other birds that it was very good to just to be there. It was a little bit difficult getting to it, but yes, I was determined to do it. And yes. it, it was more so, but I'll tell you the truth, when I did it, it was, um, it was a really good feeling. There's a lot of things you learn in school through, um, mm -hmm. 
um, just the, the, the school books, you know, and your teachers telling you about it, but for you to actually experience it for yourself, it's like you're being a part of that history. It's not just enough to read about it, but also to experience it. And I'm sure we can count the number of persons probably who have or have not been there because what they see <laughs> how to get there. But so yeah, that's, that's um, I've been there and it, it was really good just knowing it. 